Hi everyone, good morning. Thank you for joining me. My name is Tiffany and I'm an educator at the St. Louis Zoo. I see some of you have already found the chat box and put where you are zooming in from and how many people are watching. So fantastic, um, welcome, welcome. This is going to be the last of our ASL webinar series. ASL stands for American Sign Language and we're gonna review the entire alphabet and finish our R through Z. So I'm gonna be sharing my screen and then we're gonna go over some community guidelines for before we get started. Okay, so ASL Animal Alphabet, I'm so excited you guys are here. It's been really fun getting to do this web series from my home. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go over some community learning standards. So this is for our chat box, our question and answer box. So this is to make sure that everybody is going to be respectful of everyone in the chat box. Um, use it for what is appropriate in regards to the topic. Um, same with the question and answer box. Please use the question and answer box for relevant questions. Um, there is a moderator today, Connor, that's going to be watching the chat box. Um, so if there are any issues, it may get disabled or you may um, be asked to leave. So please be respectful so everybody can have a great time today. Okay, next we have before we get started. So like I said, some of you have already put it in the chat box, but if you are just joining us, find the chat box on your screen. It should be in the top or the bottom and put in where you are zooming in from today and how many people are watching. And as I said, we will have a tech person helping out today. That is Connor, thank you, Connor. And a shout out to Connor because tomorrow he will be doing a webinar. So you'll have to check that out. Um, at the very end today, we'll do a quick enjoyment poll because we really appreciate your feedback. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So as before, if you saw these, I'm gonna show you the slide and I'm gonna show you my hand and you're gonna do your best to mimic. So we have A is for Armenian Viper, A. B is for Babarusa, B. C is for Cenarius Vulture, C. D is for Dwarf Mongoose, D. E is for Emperor Scorpion, E. F, F is for Fennec Fox. G, G is for grizzly bear, G. H, H is for harbor seal. I is for ibis. And the zoo actually just posted a video of a white ibis on our social media. So you'll have to check that out after today's webinar. So that was when we did A through I, and then the next part of the series was J through Q. So for J, for Jaguar, you're gonna take your hand and make a J shape. J, Jaguar. K is for King Penguin. K. L is for Lesser Kudu. L, M is for mountain chicken, M, N is for naked mole rat, N, O is for okapi, O, P is for Partula snail, P. And then we had Q from last week. Q was for quarantine keeper. So now we're gonna go on to our last part of the series, which is gonna be our R through Z. So here we go. Oops, sorry. 
So R is for Red River Hog. And I actually have a poll to see if you guys know this interesting fact about Red River Hogs. So Connor's gonna pull up a poll for me. So your question is, can Red River Hogs swim? So go ahead and put what you think the answer is. Your options are, no, they'll sink because they're too heavy. Yes, but they can barely swim. Or yes, they're great swimmers and can even swim underwater. So I'm gonna give you guys a few more moments to go ahead and make your choice and hit submit. And then we will see the results of what you guys think. See lots of results coming in. Okay, here we go. So it looks like 63% of you said, yes, they are great swimmers and can even swim underwater. And you are correct. So they actually, it is believed that they can hold their breath for about 15 seconds underwater even. So they are excellent swimmers. So now you know. Okay, so after R, our next one is going to be S. And for S, we have snow leopard. Now a really neat fact about snow leopards is that they can jump horizontally around 50 feet. So if they were standing next to a school bus, picture a large full-size school bus, they can jump farther than that in one jump. That is amazing. So this was S for snow leopard. Next up, we have T. T is for Tasmanian devil. And these guys are the only carnivorous marsupial. So we think of carnivorous, we know that means they eat meat. And marsupial, does anybody know what kind of animals are marsupial? Or what makes them special? You can type it in the chat box if you know the answer. I can't see the chat box at the moment, but if you got the answer right, everybody else is gonna see that. So marsupial is an animal that has a pouch for their young. So Tasmanian devils are carnivorous marsupials, T. Next up, we have U for Uriel. Now there's not many zoos that have Uriels. So when our zoo opens back up, you should definitely go up to the Red Rocks area and check out our Uriels. Now with Uriels, the male that has the biggest horns is gonna be the leader. So that's a little fact about Uriels. So this was U. Next up, we have V for Velvet ant. Now Connor's going to pull up a poll about our velvet ant and you can put your best guess. Now what actually is a velvet ant? Am I trying to trick you or is it really an ant? Is it a wasp, a beetle, or a bee? So we'll give you guys a few more seconds to go ahead and make your answer and submit it. I love seeing the results come in. It's so much fun. Okay, so we went ahead and ended our poll. Ooh, this was kind of close. So a lot of, about a third of you thought that I was tricking you, that it really is just an ant. But 56% of you said wasp, and it actually is a species of wasp. I didn't know that before until I did some more research on them. That is really neat. Um, and for these guys, only the females sting. So this was our V for velvet ant. Okay, next up we have W. And W is for Western Lowland Gorilla. And that is a picture of my favorite animal at our zoo, which is Joe. So right now I'm gonna have Connor actually go to our live webcam. So it's really exciting that we have new live webcams daily. And today happens to be the Gorilla webcam. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find some Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? That is so cool. There's one of our male gorillas sitting up really high. Looks like he's enjoying some food too. That is awesome. Okay, so we have four male gorillas at the St. Louis Zoo. You can see their pictures um, with their names near the exhibit there for when the zoo does open back up to kind of help you tell the differences between them. Oh, and this exciting watching this, look at that. Um, so we have John Tu, Joe, Nadia, and Bakari. So those are our four male gorillas.
and this is their outdoor habitat. All the animals at the zoo have an outdoor habitat and an indoor habitat. So obviously the weather's super nice today. They're gonna to be enjoying some outside time. I'm trying to look to see who that is because I'm really good at telling them apart, but it's a little hard. I think I know, but I don't wanna say if it's the wrong one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is really cool. So you can go on the webcam daily and they have different um, animals. So I think yesterday was the grizzly bears with Huck and Finn and today's gorillas. So you can go to our website, stlzoo.org and check out all of our different webcams. Awesome, that is so cool. I know I'm gonna go back later and check today and see um, if I can see some more. Yeah, so Connor was saying Adaya or Bakari and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, I think it is Bakari, but again, it's kind of hard to tell when you're not there and can, and can see everything. Um, but that would be my best guess. Okay, thank you so much, Connor, for sharing that live webcam. We're gonna go back to our ASL alphabet and finish up. So I'm gonna share my screen again. Okay, so remember that was W for Western Lowland Gorilla. And then next up, we have X. X is for Xenarthra, really big crazy word. It's the science grouping for animals like sloths, anteaters, and armadillos. So what's interesting about this animal group is that some of them don't have any teeth and some of them don't have enamel on their teeth like we do. And they just have a few teeth in the back. So this is a very interesting group of animals, X. Next up, we have Y and Y is for yellow footed tortoise. Now go ahead and type in the chat box if you think that a yellow footed tortoise is warm blooded or cold blooded. And again, I can't see the chat box right now, but everybody else can see if you got the answer right. So warm blood or cold blood? Well, we know they're reptiles and they are in fact cold blooded. Another word for cold blooded is an ectotherm. So when an animal is an ectotherm, that means their body temperature on the inside doesn't stay the same like ours all the time. They actually move around in their habitats and in the wild to either warm up or cool off. So their temperature is the same as their surroundings. So that was why. So our last one is going to be Z. You're gonna take one finger and make a Z in the air. So Z is for zoos save species. And the picture of the zebra is from our zoo. That is a grubby zebra. They are endangered. And we have a variety of wild care centers. I encourage you to go to our website, stlzoo.org, and learn about some of the wild care centers. These are conservation efforts that we have here locally and globally around the world. The other two pictures on here have to do with one of our wild care centers and working with the locals to make sure that people and animals can coexist and get everything that they need. Okay, great job. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen. And now what we're gonna do is review the entire alphabet together. And then we're gonna play the word game. And then I have some more animal signs to show you. So let's just go through the whole alphabet, A to Z, and do that together. Are you ready? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, I'm sorry, I did E, <laughs> F, G, G is next, right? It's hard when you're going a little bit slower. <laughs> G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z.
Excellent. Okay, so I am going to spell some animal words and you're going to see if you can figure out what word I'm spelling. And I can see the chat box now. So if you type your answer in the chat box, I'll be able to see it. So I'm going to spell four different words today. So our first word has four letters. Okay, you ready? And I'll do it twice. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to do that again because I definitely messed it up. <laughs> Excellent, but you guys got it. It is bird. So let's do it together. B I R D. Excellent. And I'm still learning. So I can't always do it perfect all the time. I'm still learning and practicing, and I really encourage you guys to practice and learn the alphabet and learn more ASL. Okay, next one, are we ready? And I'm gonna do it slower this next time because I went a little fast. Okay, it looks like some of you guys got it. It is tiger. Let's do it together. T I G E R tiger. Okay, here's the next one. This one's a little bit tricky. I'm going to do it again. Awesome. I saw Connor put Okapi. He even got it too. And some of you also did. Um, Okapi is one of my favorite animals. And that was our O for Okapi. Um, so let's try it together. O. K. A. P, I, excellent. Okay, I have one more animal word for you. And this one's really long. So let's see if we can get this one. Okay, ready? I'll do this one again, because this one's really long. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, that one was elephant. So if you got that great job, if you didn't, that's okay. That was a really, really long word. I just thought for the last um, ASL webinar series, I would do a really long animal word for all of you. So great job if you got elephant. Let's try it together. E L E P H A N T. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to review the animal signs that we learned on the last two webinars. So for the first one, we're going to review bear because we learned bear. So you're going to take both hands and put them here and then make clawing motions. So bear. So go ahead and try that with me. Bear. Okay, so the one we learned last week, which is my personal favorite, it was pretty fun to do, um, is turtle. So remember, we had our, our hand kind of like an A and turn it and then take your other hand and put it over and then you're just gonna move that thumb. So this re represents the turtle's head and this re represents the shell. So this is turtle. So you can try it, turtle. Okay, so those are the ones we reviewed. The new one that we're gonna learn this time is lion. And for lions, you're gonna take your hand and start it here 
like a mane and you're going to roll. I'm going to scoot down so you can see my hand better. You're going to roll your hand back. That represents the mane. So you're not going to go like this. You're going to actually roll your hand backward along the back of your head. So try it with me. Lion. Lion. Okay, great job. Okay, so um, before I get to the questions and answers, so remember there is a question and answer box. So if you have any questions, you can type those in and I will do my best to answer them. Um, but before I get to the questions and answers, Connor is going to pull up an enjoyment poll. We really appreciate your feedback. And if you would take just a second to let us know if you enjoyed today's program or not, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up questions and answers. Okay, so, so far, some of the questions that I have, let me go ahead and close that. Are there any more ASL webinars after this one? Um, not currently, um, that I don't have any planned currently, especially since I'm still learning ASL. Um, but if you guys want more and you let us know that, I can always do more. Um, but as of right now, we don't have any more planned. Um, can a cheetah run faster than a snow leopard? Ah, definitely. So a cheetah is one of the fastest animals. They can run around 70 miles per hour. Ah, oh, one of the ape keepers is watching. Shout out to you. All the zoo keepers are taking such great care of our animals as they always do. And she said that that was John too. So it was not Nadia or Bakari. <laughs> That's why I said I'm guessing because unless I'm there and I can see them up close, it's really hard to tell sometimes from, especially from a camera. So thank you for letting us know. So when we saw that gorilla up there, that was John too. Excellent. Um, how many lions do you have at the zoo? We have two. Their names are Ngozi and Kabara. Okay. Well, I think that is gonna do it for today. It is about time for us to go. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, if you have not watched the prior ASL videos or checked out some of our other webinars, you can go onto our website, stlzoo.org and all of the webinars are on there. So they've been recorded so that you can go back, especially for ASL, it's important that you can watch them again and practice so that your family and you can learn at home and do this at home. Um, I'm going to be doing another webinar next Thursday for animal behavior. I would love if you joined and zoomed with me for that one. Tomorrow is Connor's polar bear plunge. So be sure to come in tomorrow for the Zoom at 10 a.m. You can register for all of our Zoom webinars on our website. So thank you again so much for joining me, everyone. Everybody stay safe and have a great day.